and welcome to the 20th big debate in Shanghai, taking on the motion, cryptocurrency is a bad investment. So th their position on it right now is it's not big enough to even worry about right now. It's unregulated at this time because it's not worth the time and effort to regulate because of the amount of people who are actually at risk. In the future, as it grows, yes, there will be regulation, and I think that will be better for the crypto sphere as a whole. So it can't be printed. Bitcoin cannot be printed more. Does it doesn't mean it cannot be controlled. No. Does not mean it cannot be controlled because the same markets that sell it control it. Your exchange market, control it. Your people that buy, control it. Your people that sell, control it. Fiat currency is inflationary. It, it loses value over time. Whereas gold and Bitcoin... And so Bitcoin is not inflationary. It's deflationary. deflationary. It's, deflationary. it's completely deflationary. Because there's a limited amount, limited supply. I mean it's a bad investment for that 1%. The 99% that lose their money, okay, the 99% that cannot go back to the government and ask for help, I understand, I understand for them it's a bad investment. I understand your frustration. I understand. Okay. <laughs> Next break. Guys, I've got another investment for you. It's a tissue. I bought it for one RMB. Do I have a taker here to buy it for 10 RMB? Because a month from now, you can find some idiot out there who will buy it for 100 RMB. Who's going to give me 10 RMB? 10 RMB? Nobody. <laughs> It's still a kind of currency, right? If you don't admit that, you're gonna say white horses are not horses. That's extremely stupid. <laughs> Currencies based on the currency is released by central banks. Central banks release currencies based on their gold reserve. Yes. Mm. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. No. Not any of the monopoly in the belief system. Our governments do, and their central banks do. And this is my argument why Bitcoin, any big currency, will not replace normal currency. Because our governments, the most powerful entities in this world, will not relinquish their rights to manufacture money. That we won't name. Uh, owns a lot of government treasuries. Whoa. That is a huge amount China. of uh, the, the US uh, uh, the trade deficit is a billion dollars per day. China gets paid in US dollars. They buy government treasuries. Do you think China wants cryptocurrency to replace the fiat uh, dollar? Absolutely no. not. That one actually, yes. All right. And Venezuela right now, that's why they want to go into big cryptocurrencies. Why? Because they print lots of money. And they keep printing and printing and printing until the value of your dollar. You could hold a basket full of currencies, and that basket is worth more than the, the actual currency. Because governments can keep printing money. Having more control. Decentralization on a lot of different industries are important. Many different industries need to be decentralized. There's too many one percenters that have control of everything. So I think in the grand scope of things, like I'm a millennial, we're all about change. Like these these coins have a lot of you got to fight through the coins, you got to work through to see which ones have changed. But like the more important coins that we're investing in, we're investing for the, the meaning behind it, not just monetary value. Like changing the world. Trade, trading a chicken for an egg or whatever, and then moving on to cash. There was fear in that, there was hesitance in that, and then people, people uh, printed fake currencies, there was a lot of counterfeits, and then we went to checks. And then you guys knew, knew that movie, Catch Me If You Can, you make a lot of fake checks. And then we move on to like Alipay. But we're evolving. We're full against or undecided. Oh. 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 
Oh, it's oh. 